Hello, hello, and welcome. The tech sector, particularly NVIDIA, has been torpedoed by a company called DeepSeek. But the reason and the purpose for this video is because I tend to answer frequently asked questions that I get from my clients in videos just as this one. So one of the most frequently asked questions is, how does price action pivoter perform during extreme market volatility like we had today? And that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this video by using NQ. But before we do that, let me uplift you a little bit with this while I prepare. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. All right, guys, I hope that was uplifting. So here is uh, the training data that the LSTM machine learning model, LSTM, by the way, stands for long short-term memory, and it is a recurrent neural network. Uh, it's, in my opinion, the best uh, model to use, the best libraries to use when it comes to uh, developing custom uh, machine learning that is uh, able to essentially make, uh, you know, create trading signals that can be executed upon and can be deployed using something like NinjaTrader, which I've done in this case. So this is the uh, the CSV data that is being collected. All of the data is being collected there. You can see everything from, there are approximately 60 data variables here. And it's got everything from date, day, uh, open, high, low, close, volume, RSI, the Bollinger Bands, the moving averages, it's got traditional pivots, it's got Fibonacci pivots, it's got mid pivots, it's got prior high, prior low, two days ago, two days ago low. Obviously when you see NAs or zeros, that means the calculation at that date can't happen unless you have two days ago data, for example, for two days ago high and two days ago low. So it's gonna show either zero or NA. But as I scroll down on the CSV, you'll be able to see them populate because the dates will be there. So we have uh, all sorts of data, the trading period, the profit target, all the way down to, the, of course, the uh, RTH, regular trading hours, high, low. It gives you the Globex, high, low, close, etc. And of course, it gives you the critical desired profit as well as the critical ris risk for trade. Now, all of this data is being used and there is a particular algorithm that is being called off the server. Once the server verifies that that license is active and is authorized by its API key, machine ID, and one other uh, tracking um, variable. Once it ensures that that, in fact, is accurate so that we have no piracy like we do from the people from CB, uh, and that essentially, is that it'll, it'll start writing the, it'll call up the algorithm, and after that, the algorithm will start, in fact, writing the, uh, the signals to the TXT file, which was this document right here that essentially is being read in real time by NinjaTrader's uh, script that I have in Price Action Pivoter uh, version 5 AI. So, you know, a lot of people call everything AI. Unfortunately, everything is AI this, AI that, when it's not really AI. This is an actual real-time machine learning model. It is, in fact, running live, so it's 100% transparent for you in a Python terminal that comes with Price Action Pivoter. So this terminal automatically loads when you enable the strategy on a chart. And this terminal essentially is going and grabbing all this, reading this data, is being trained and is writing uh, the actual signals to the TXT file. So that's how that model works. So let me show you how NQ performed. All right, so this is just so that you guys can see in, in a world of, I don't believe, uh, here is, it's, it's perfectly normal to be skeptical. So that is 127. As you can see, I just ran it for that day, for today. And so this is, it's right now live, but it's not actually uh, looking for trades because I've set this up to run 6.30 my time until 12.30 my time. And I'll show you the strategy parameters right now. But before I do that, let me just show you uh, what it did today. So it had this first trade, heartbreak loss right there. The next one was good. So imagine if I hadn't taken the loss, the next one was bad. So, you know, some people who trade this, the I'm, I'm gonna pretend to be a very big pessimist. Okay, guys. So right here, right, what, what's the pessimist say? This system sucks, just sucks, okay? Then, okay, it's not bad, it's not terrible. And then, I said it sucks, didn't I say it sucks? Um, and then, of course, okay, not bad, not bad. All right, this one gets a winner, gets right before it, it, it dropped, it actually protected the win using the custom uh, 
high low trailing peak uh, stop that I have that's using uh, it's got two different uh, versions it's got a just a hard money unrealized profit and then it's got hard money plus the AI an adverse AI signal so that book did so the pessimist would have said not bad it's okay like a C minus or something um, and then the next one okay C just a C maybe a C plus okay and then the next one this whatever whatever it's okay C and then the next one, I told you it sucks. I told you it sucks. And then this one, it literally saved it right before it went in. This was, was live sim, guys. It was running normal. I haven't touched it. And that's what it did. And it stopped looking for further trades. That was it. So let's see how it did. Let me close this out so you guys can see how it did. And so this is on a volatile day today where the VIX shot up still below 20. So we can have much more volatile days. But... Uh, you know, when it gets to 25 or so, that's when the hedge funds uh, get a little bit worried uh, and a lot of uh, systems get turned off by those hedge funds. The algos just turn themselves off or get manually turned off. And so this is what it did for today. It had nine trades and I, let me break it down. I know it shows that because I loaded five days of data on the chart. So let's show you the actual trades so that you can see exactly what happened. Entry, exit, everything. All right, so that was it. Okay, those were the actual trades, nine of them, and those were the results. Okay, all right, and I mentioned earlier that I would show you the actual parameters that were used for the price action Pivotal V5 AI. So this is, you can confirm the strategy always by the top left corner, it's gonna be printed there. And it's also gonna be printed uh, in the configured section. So top left corner, you can see price action pivot or V5 AI and also under the configured section. I have a net session profit limit under money and trade management of 5,000, net session loss limit of 1,000, maximum number of trades at 20, consecutive loss switch at five. Then for the highly important, they're all important, but for the, in my opinion, a highly important peak high low trailing stop, uh, I had the hard money stop of $600 of unrealized profit, it was going to move it to 25% away from the unrealized peak high. That's what that's doing. That's a trailing percent for long, trailing percent for short. It's 25% for both. Moreover, I had a secondary rule here. The secondary rule was or hard money of 400 plus an AI signal. The AI signal here has to be an adverse AI signal. So if you're in a long trade, it's looking for now a signal that is adverse to that long position that you're in, okay? And if it gets that, then it moves the stop to 25% away from the unrealized peak high. Now you'll notice that on the bottom right corner of the chart, you'll always have the unrealized peak profit of the last trade printed, the name price action pivoter V5 AI by Pinnacle Quan LLC, okay? Uh, so what that means is that if it, uh, if it's in blue, that means you're in a long trade. If it's written in red, that means you're in a short trade. And it only prints the very last trade that you're in. And since this was our last trade, it was 425. And since the long unrealized minimum peak profit plus AI signal was at 400, as you can see there, and this was at 425, it had already moved the stop. There was an AI negative a adverse signal on the AI signals and it moved the stop and it booked the unrealized profit. Okay, so that's essentially what it was. I had a $1,200 profit target. I had a $500 stop. And um, so it was to flatten everything at 12.59 my time. All right, so that's it for the parameters. And it was uh, essentially looking for trades, obviously long and short, Monday through Friday, 6.30 a.m. my time, Pacific Central time, until 12.30 p.m. my time. So Eastern time, that'd be 9.30 until 15.30. Why 15.30? Because it's in military time. This entire system is in military time, including, for example, the pre-market start time. For me, it's 3 p.m. the day prior, because that's when the session starts in futures trading, the day prior at 3 p.m. So it's 1500, and it stops that morning at 6.30, because starting from 6.30, you have now the RTH hours, the regular trading hours. We switch from Globex, or however you want to call it, ETH, electronic trading hours, whatever you call it is fine. Pre-market, there's different uh, terminology that's being used for it. Uh, in trading, there's usually at least two different <laughs> terminology or acronyms that are being used for the same thing, okay? Uh, those who are day trading stocks, and I used to day trade stocks, it is a, you know, there are bad ideas and then there are really, really bad ideas. Day trading stocks is a really, really bad idea. I can only think of one idea that's even worse than day trading stocks, and that's day trading Forex. So anybody who's day trading stocks in Forex, Go ahead and request a, a free Zoom demo of this system. 
Okay, so I can explain it to you. You know, you should also Google uh, yourself the tax benefits of trading futures. And also remember, always go by what the manufacturer's design elements were. So when they came up with futures, they're essentially speculative products. You're supposed to either day trade them or hedge with them. So those are the two options that you really have with, day, with, uh, with futures. That's really the purpose. It's a speculative product. That's not the case when it comes to equities. It simply isn't. And most day traders are trading equities, sadly. Uh, they should be trading, in my opinion, humble opinion again, take it for what it's worth, futures, okay? Uh, so many benefits when it comes to just Google it, okay? You don't have to believe me. Just Google the benefits of trading futures over trading stocks, and you'll see uh, for yourself the benefits. Um, so when it comes to stocks, they are investment vehicles. You're supposed to invest in them and wait maybe years, maybe decades until your uh, expectation of that company comes to fruition vis-a-vis -vis the investment that you made and you see some sort of a positive return that you can then say, I can now cash out with this. Where with futures, you're supposed to take excess capital that you have and say, I'm going to be aggressive in putting that money to work and see what it can do for me. And that's where futures comes in and that's where futures shines and that's why you have billions of dollars changing hands trading futures a derivative product okay but it doesn't mean that futures don't get impacted when a like for example nasdaq futures wouldn't get impacted by a company like either nvidia or apple or something like that getting you know torpedoed as we saw today a 17 percent drop i believe approximately on nvidia so in one day that's billions hundreds of billions of dollars of market market cap just wiped off but it doesn't mean it doesn't come back it could it could also mean that it goes it gets much worse i don't know i can't predict that type of a future but i can tell you that um you know when it comes to trading you really want to be looking, in my opinion, at futures. It's not because I'm a commodity trading advisor, guys, that I'm saying this. It's because I'm saying this because if my grandmother, God rest her soul, were to ask me, you know, Rafi, I have some money. I want to put it to work. What should I do? I wouldn't say, Grandma, please trade stocks or trade Forex, God forbid. Okay. I would say trade futures. If you know what you're doing, you've got the right system. You've identified your risk. You've identified your desired um a profit that you're trying to get out of this market, try to squeeze out of this market, then you can put money to work in the futures world using a powerful system such as this. Now in this system, and I get this question not as often as I get, how does it perform on volatility? But people are asking me, for example, what impact does desired profit have in the approximate 60 variables that you saw here that's being collected in the CSV file, right? So these 60 variables that are being collected in the CSV file, you know, there's desired profit. You saw that in here. That's that 1250 number. That's my desired profit. What role does that play? Well, it plays a pretty big role because what the model is trying to answer is this question. Can I get to my desired profit over the next 120 minutes before I hit my stop, which is this number right here, my risk per trade? So all of this data is being trained, is being used to train rather the LSTM recurrent neural network that's proprietary that comes with the price action pivoter in a uh, Python uh, script called Higher Edge AI. Again, this script only gets called off of the server when the algo essentially is being called off the server. Once it checks to see your API keys valid, it checks to see your machine IDs valid, it tracks you one other way to make sure that that software is being used by the person it was sold to because it can't be shared. And then it essentially uh, will call up that algorithm and um, and deploy the model so that it can run and write the txt file so i hope this has been helpful and to those that are on cb um you know i hate to crush your hopes but uh you know piracy never pays theft never pays um so i hope that you guys uh, will realize that and also know that it's not just me that knows about it everybody knows about those websites including the federal federal authorities they know about it too and uh, thankfully, uh, when you guys tried to get the previous version of this software, uh, you left critical code in place where it was able to record many of your IP addresses. I was able to get, for example, a lot of information. I also have information on the admins, uh, three of them, because some of you are good people who just thought that you can get cheap software. Uh, but unfortunately, you got pirated software and you knew that it was pirated and you still got it. And so to your detriment, uh, you know, we all reap what we sow. So if you are not on the client roster, I'm sad to say that it's just a matter of time. So until next time, guys, 
I hope to give you another video uh, that demonstrates the uh, capabilities of this very sophisticated software, Price Action Pivoter version 5 AI, exclusively designed for my favorite platform, NinjaTrader. Until next time, take care and God bless.